remember when Dr. Mike Mould came to me and told me that uh, he was retiring. But Mike said to me, Davey is ready. And uh, from the moment that Davey became the athletic director, he was a great counsel to me and uh, a good teacher as we together expanded athletics here at Misericordia. David has been at Misericordia since 1990, and uh, at that time, Misericordia was transitioning from NAIA into Division Three. We had about eight sports and 120 student athletes or so, and very limited athletics facilities. Now we have about um, 500 student athletes. David has been able um, to contribute his vision to the Misericordia Athletic Department, and I think that's what separates him from many people. Uh, he very much sees the big picture, and I would consider him a visionary. Dave is the consummate professional. He's done a wonderful job at Misericordia growing that program. Uh, he certainly was a, an accomplished basketball coach and, and is now is an accomplished administrator. He's, he's raised a lot of money and supported that program, and that's a testament uh, to not only his professional acumen, but certainly his personal attribute. Um, I think one of the main contributions that he's had is we've seen growth here, um, the ability to join the MAC uh, and, and becoming a leader within that conference. We have had some tremendous upgrades to our facility and David has been uh, a key factor in those. He was instrumental in the development of the Anderson Center uh, a little bit over 20 years ago, the Tanner Baseball Field, the Mets Field House, the improvement and enhancements to the Mangelsdorf Stadium in addition of a second turf field uh, and the upgrades that we've made to our softball facility. Football was a big undertaking for us here and he handled that very, very well. For him to take a directive and put the time and the research and the effort and the energy in uh, has really paid off. Needless to say, as a Sister of Mercy, I was concerned uh, that I wanted to be certain that the sense of community that we have at Misericordia uh, would not be in any way dis disrupted. And I became very calm as we went along in that process, realizing that what football did, it added a lot of uh, fun to the campus. Uh, it added some really good men. To He's been extremely supportive of the ECAC over the years, uh, starting from the time he was a basketball coach. One of the things that he was able to do and was asked to do was to chair the operations committee. He's taken the conference um, and made the conference known regionally and nationally. He has served on the ECAC board of directors. Uh, he served as the treasurer of the ECAC for uh, a couple of years and currently serves on our finance committee. He has chaired both the men's and women's division three basketball championships. So David is a reason that the MAC is known. He very much puts the greater good ahead of the individual, the school, the program. Even if the conference needs and Misericordia's needs are in conflict, he always looks to see what is best for our conference. He has been a wonderful mentor to our coaches. He has been a wonderful mentor to me. He has an ability to pull teams, pull pulled our directors together, sometimes at very difficult times, with his humor, uh, with his honesty. He was a longtime coach, and he gets it. He knows what it takes to be a successful coach at this level. He cares about the student athletes, he cares about his coaches, he cares about his fellow administrators, uh, works hard, as, as hard as we all do, but probably harder than most. I would say that uh, loyalty uh, to his athletic department, to his coaches, to those who work with him and to Misericordia and to the MAC is one of his greatest attributes. He has a great passion for athletics and Division Three athletics and he exhibits that daily. Uh, our student athletes see it, our coaching staff sees it. And I think every student athlete gets that feeling that their sport is respected and that it is um, important. Congratulations to Dave Martin for winning the Lou Sarantino Award. We're proud to um, speak on your behalf and, and also just be associated with you here at Misericordia. Um, what you've done here, what you've done in the conference, uh, congratulations. I think that you are a person of great integrity. You're faithful to your commitments to not just your staff and your faculty, but to the MAC. I would say that in honoring you, you honor Ms. Recordia and thank you.